Alright guys, here we are in an International Harvester Lodestar. Marcus has been working on this for about a year, maybe more. Long Piston Heads Nation. This is the third episode, and if you recall in the last episode, we started working on the battery box. We also uh, we put the carburetor back in, and now we're going to be starting on the wiring for the back for the uh, for the tail lights, the reverse lights, the license plate light, and the brake lights. And we're going to go take care of all that. And then we're going to hopefully have everything working for that and then we're going to come up to the front and we're going to do a little work I bought a new uh, new flash switch for the flashers sort of put that in and we're gonna trace some wires underneath I have no clue where they're going so we're gonna have to use the diagram and find out what's going on with that so strap on in buckle up and let's get working on this thing so I made a quick list here of everything I want to get done today uh, actually this is all for the week and so for today, we're gonna to trace the disconnector wire that's under the cab. Uh, we're gonna wire in the rear turns, the reverse and stops, and we're gonna find the reverse light switch on this thing. I don't know where it's at. And that's going to be, that's gonna be quite the process. We're gonna have to look at that. Uh, I have the wiring diagram right here. So maybe we can find something there. We'll see. Uh, the next, the next day we work, we're going to try and fix the tube with the O-ring that's going to be with this on the carburetor. We're going to install a gas pedal, uh, install a bracket on the air pump. We'll have to get that. We have to tighten the base. It's just rattled loose over time. Um, we're going to install a tube to the air cleaner from the air pump. I'm going to have to stop at Lowe's for that probably, or Home Depot. Uh, we're going to have to reconnect the vacuum to the distributor and set the timing. I've set the timing a few times, but we're going to do it again. Uh, we're going to work on the dash lights. For some reason, they're not coming on. We're going to wire in the two-speed rear because we have a little electric motor that swaps between the, the high and low. We're going to look at the wipers. I don't know if they're going to work or not. They have a vacuum set up on them. There's no electronic. So we're going to have to look at that and see if there's anything we can do with that. If not, I might end up just installing an uh, electronic wiper setup. Uh, we're going to remove the old battery box over there that we had before. I'm going to get rid of that and make it look a little cleaner. Uh, oil pressure sender, the coolant temp sender, and the fuel sender. We're going to work on. That'll all be day three. And then day four, which will be a bit longer because that'll be the day that I have off. We're going to cover the holes in the windshield with a little bit of tape. We're going to cover all the holes that are in the the cab just so i don't want any bees getting in there i don't want any more water getting in there i'm just tired of finding water in there and i don't like it because it's ruining my progress and then if i can i'm going to finish bolting in the fenders i'm going to adjust the doors i'm going to fix the door latches and then i'm going to finish bolting in the dash also underneath there's a bit of an oil leak that i'm going to have to look at and see if i can figure that out but all i think it is is just that there's a couple bolts missing from the oil pan and when the time comes, I will show you that. So, I'm gonna close up my notebook here and we're gonna get to wiring. This episode is unofficially sponsored by Coca-Cola. 100% recycled bottle, original taste. And if you drink it, you will feel better. Okay, so this episode is actually not sponsored by Coca-Cola. What we're gonna have to do now is take this seat out. And as you can see, ugh, it's in need of work. But we're gonna have to remove that bolt uh, excuse me that nut that nut the nut on the other side and we're just trying to access all of this in here um then on saturday when i get back to work we're going to work on 
plugging that hole down there. So I'm going to grab my impact gun. I'm gonna whip and zip this out and get cracking on this wire. Hang on. All right, I am back. Oh, let's see here. This is the wire we are looking for. And it comes back through here, back here, and then it goes up and through. Right up to, oh my, you can't even see. Oh, oh dear. That's not much better. And then it goes up and through, but then it just stops here. So where does it go? Here's the question. I have a feeling it has something to do with the transmission just by where it's mounted at. I think, I'm not sure. Well, it's time to consult the wiring diagram. Now the wire says it is 105 and 105A. Which, okay, so we got this connector here. That's that one, and this one here is probably the one we're looking for. Right there, because that goes to the back. And it really doesn't say anything about it. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Aha, here we go. It's the backup light switch. Haha, <laughs> that's one of the things we were looking for. So we can consolidate two things into one because 105A and 105 are the backup, the reverse light switch. So now we gotta look on the transmission itself and see if there's actually a switch on there somewhere. I guess I gotta go back underneath again. Here we go. Well, I'm gonna have to do something I didn't wanna do, but that's life. I have to pull the transmission tunnel cover off to be able to access where the transmission or where the reverse light switch goes. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to just wait on that and not do that today. I'm going to really focus on getting this mess cleaned up and getting these cut wires hooked back into where they belong all up in here. These wires are going to be coming out. They are for, uh, they're for the option for the there used to be a uh, trailer connector here. Um, eventually the fifth wheel is probably going to go and I'm going to put a flatbed on it. Potentially. Uh, we'll see. But that these are going to go for now just to declutter the whole thing. So I'm going to get cracking on this and uh, y'all can just hang in for the ride and watch. Running into some issues here. I have a, I have brakes. At least I have brake lights now. Um, like I said, this is a mess, and it's not going to be easy. But I'm gonna have to go through the whole diagram and just figure out what all goes where, because I'm not the uh, first to be messing with this, as it's apparently seen. So I will be back in a little while to give you an update and the next time you see me I will show you what I figured out. Bit more of an update as everybody who works on cars knows 
If something's gonna go wrong, it will. And this story is no different. Um, apparently I have stuff wired up wrong in the back here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I gotta redo that. And my battery's dying. And this is a mess. So it's just gonna take, it's gonna take some time. So I'm gonna keep plugging away at it and I'll give an update once I, once I get things more figured out. So until then, I will see you again shortly. Here's a new update. We have running lights. We have turn signals on both sides. I haven't exactly done anything with them yet. So you can't see both right now. And we have a license plate light. Reverse light I still have to wire in, but at least we're getting this far. So, so far so good. Um, I'm just gonna keep working at it and I still have a mess. So uh, stay tuned for the next update. Well, it's been a frustrating evening. <clears throat> I can't figure out any of this wiring. So I'm going to uh, pack it up. It's almost nine o'clock now and I won't be able to get back at it tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to wait a whole day to work on it. So when I come back again, I will continue what I've started and I will get, keep giving you guys updates. See ya in 48 hours. Okay, motorheads, I'm back. For me, it's been 48 hours. For you, it's been two seconds. And I'm about to hop back on the big blue here and get back on this wiring. I was doing some research in the last 48 hours and I think I've figured it out. So uh, hang on for the ride and let's see what we got. This is a big update for me. For all you smart people, you probably knew this already. But now I have turn signals, uh, rear running lights. I just have the lefts on for now. And brake lights too. So that's a big step. So now I'm gonna take this jumbled mess in here. I'm gonna clean it all up, get everything wired up properly, redo these connections here. Probably gonna cover it in some uh, insulation or some wrapping of some sort put everything back together and then that'll take care of the uh, lighting aspect of it which is a huge step because I, I hate wiring so here we go on to the time lapse We got another update here. We got running lights all around. We do have brake lights. I just don't have enough air in the tank to show you right now. We have that and we do have a reverse light now. I just haven't hooked it up to the trans tunnel cover yet. Uh, right now I'm taking the dash apart here because I need to get to the fuel sender uh, the fuel gauge area. I need to figure out where all the other gauges go and where their wiring goes and just figure out the rest of this mess. This is going to go back together pretty soon. This goes to the fuel tank. And <clears throat> I found out this is just another airline. I rehooked it back up. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but it's an airline sensor for the power options for the back. And I was able to cut out a wire here that I didn't need because it was part of it was just part of our system. I also found that the wiring for the two-speed switch in the back uh, is actually fraying and coming apart. So I'm going to worry about that another time. Just going to keep trucking on this here and see what else I can come up with. I will give you an update shortly. So what have we learned tonight? 
We learned that the brake valve is constantly on, so the brake lights are always on. But we got pretty much everything done that we wanted to. At least for tonight. The, uh, the lights now work on the dash, if you can see that. It's pretty dark. Lights on the front work. Have to replace that light over there, but. It's getting there. One step at a time. One step at a time. And that's the end of this section of this episode. And you'll catch me in about 24 hours back here, at the same place. So as a recap, it has been one week since I took the first video in this episode. I've actually done a lot today. I re-put the dash Get the dash all the way put back in. <clears throat> Gotta get my screws in here. Um, let me show you over right here. Seats back in. Gas pedal is in now. Oh, there it is. Back in there. Uh, I put the boot back on for the for the shifter. All the turn signals work. Everything works for that. And. Now it's just getting little odds and ends finished up. And for that, I'm gonna do the next episode is doing all the little stuff. So you've kind of missed most of the boring wiring. And hopefully now I'll be able to show you the rest of the stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching and looking forward to making this next episode. So, all right guys, here we are in an international harvester Lodestar. Marcus has been working on this for about a year, maybe more. Long time. Marcus. Howdy. This is Marcus. Uh, yeah, the door likes to open. We are currently at hit. Currently trying to get around this corner here. It's a little bit of a donut. It kind of smells weird in here. <laughs> What's an old truck? What do you expect? Uh, 1960, no, I believe, or 69. I don't have the window! 1970. Oi. So Daniel's dying. That's this really sweet horn over here. <laughs> Not Marcus. Yeah, I was waiting for him to blare it. There we go. Oh. Driving off the cliff. Bye.